Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at the cooperative adventure game Paleo by Peter Rustmeyer, published by Hansem Gluck and Z-Man Games. Now right off the bat, I want to let you know that this copy is fully sleeved, and I've organized this with the purpose of getting gameplay started quickly. That means keeping the 3D constructed components fully constructed from game to game. Now with that being said, the game is going to have about an maybe a quarter of an inch of lid lift, but nothing too crazy, and you'll see why in a second. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So right off the bat, we lift the lid up, and we'll see that we have the supplement rulebook as well as the main game rules. We have our three large player boards for our, the players to share. And underneath that, we're gonna have lots of different sections. So the first section you'll notice in the corner here is actually a piece of the original insert. We do not keep the original insert, but this one is going to store all your story cards, as well as the cards organized by the letter in the corner. So this is gonna have all of the letters in here from A through J, but I'm not gonna show you anything because there are spoilers in this game. So they fit nicely into a single compartment here that is notified, noted for the cards here, and you'll simply just cut out that piece and tuck it in that corner. So that'll go in that right corner, and that's gonna be all of your modular cards as well as your event cards. Up next on this right side, we're going to have the Mammoth Graveyard. So one thing to note when you do use this, you want to make sure that your pieces stay constructed and you want to keep it nice and flat with that large side on the top here. Another thing to mention, if you are using sleeved cards, they are not going to fit in here. There's going to be a little bit of kind of bend. So you're, they're not going to fit in here normally. So when you do store your cards in here, if they're sleeved, just kind of put them on their side like that. It functions the same way, but it's got that nice aesthetic of that graveyard. So just something to note when you are using sleeved cards. Underneath that graveyard, you're going to have the build your own expansion set cards. So these are the blank ones that you can create something with if you'd like. So have those in those on bags. It's also nice to keep it under that graveyard because it will raise it up a little bit from the gap on the bottom there. And then on the top here, we're going to have your starting cards that you're going to be using every game. So this is sets one through four. Underneath here, we have a Dollar Tree organizer. You get these for $1, your local dollar store. They're called Artist Containers. And inside, we simply lift off the top here, and we have all of the different potential items and ideas that you can find as you play organized in their own little sections. It does come with these handy little dividers in the center here. That way you can separate things that only have maybe one or two items. So really nice. These four you're going to be using every game. So you can keep them in here, or you can take them out and put them where they belong on the uh, item rack. And we'll see that in a second. Speaking of item rack, that's the next part of this, and that's on the left side here. We have the bottom of the item rack here, and you can simply put that on the table. And then on top of it, you're going to put this 3D construction. So this piece here is really the big reason that we don't have the insert in here anymore, because you want to keep this fully constructed. Now notice how it's got these slanted sides. Very important that you put it this side down and this side on the right. That way you have lots of room to slide things underneath it. So that's just going to rest on top of everything on that left side. Now underneath here, we have lots of these little containers. So you can get them from Dollar Tree, usually 10 for a dollar. Uh, these larger ones are usually four for a dollar. But you have this large container. It's going to contain your victory markers. You're going to have these smaller containers. You can get 10 for a dollar. Your nice little ramekins. You simply put the lid on the bottom, and they're ready to go, nice and set up. This is going to have your meat tokens, your dice, and your skull tokens your wound tokens. And then up here, we've got the stone and the wood tokens. So it's all organized on this left side. And the last thing in the box here is a silica gel packet, just for freshness. And that's everything in the box. So let's go ahead and pack it up. So one thing that might make it a little bit easier is if you actually put in this large organizer first, you wanna tuck it in that bottom left corner. That way you know exactly how much room you're working with. Same thing with that card stack. You might wanna put that one in the bottom right. Once again, so you know exactly how much room you've got. The next thing we'll take is we'll take that large container for the victory point tiles, and you're actually gonna put it in here first and slide it down on this right side. Then we'll take that artist container and do something similar. We'll push, we'll push it right against those two containers and the card holder. We'll take the player cards and put them on the right, push them towards to the right there. We'll take that build your own expansion set and put it here. 
make a little bit of room on the right here, so that way we can put the tusks of this graveyard on the right, and make sure to slide that expansion pack under here so it kind of supports your 3D component. We'll put the silica gel packet in the left corner, as well as the stone and the wood resources. We'll take the three remaining resource bins and place them in this large open area inside of the item rack. And then we'll place this item rack identifier on top of all of those. The last steps, we take the three boards and we're gonna place them nice along the middle here, nicely along the middle there. And then we'll put the rule books on top of that. And that is organizing Paleo. If you have any questions about my organization method or what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. How did you organize your copy of Paleo? Did you keep things in separate bags? Did you cut up stuff like I did? I'd love to hear your take on this organization method. If there's any games you'd like to see organized in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It really does help us grow. I just want to give a big thanks to everyone who's here and watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope some of you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong!